Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are in. So I just wanted to answer some few questions about the M-Pesa payment uh, plugin for WordPress, which I have uploaded in my earlier video. So if you are in this video, it means you are a beginner. You don't know how to generate the app consumer key, the app consumer secret, and all these details that uh, you have seen me saying that they are necessary to fill so that you go live. So first of all, you need to have an active, an active M-Pesa till. So this Aura Pay Bill. So this is the Mpesa service application form. So you need to fill your company name, physical address of company, and also you have to ensure the till last. Uh, is you you tick the pay bill by goods. So this is just uh, easy as it is. This is how you get your till online. But if you feel like this process is so much, you can just uh, visit a Safaricom till. And when you're opening your till or pay bill, ensure you tell Safaricom to link your account to your bank. Don't link to your mobile phone because if you link to your mobile phone, it will be hard re uh, requesting the M-Pesa administrator logins. So I usually tell people if you're registering a new till or pay bill, make sure the settlement is bank. The settlement, make sure it is bank here on the payment details. When where would you like to receive uh, funds collected? Ensure you take bank. Ensure you have a valid uh, name of bank, account name, branch, and account number. So. If you go to the Safaricom uh, shop, just if you ask, if you want to register a new till or pay bill, make sure the settlement you choose bank. And also, if uh, if your client, if you're a developer and your client has a pay bill or still number, and their settlement is not a uh, bank, it is their phone number. Just know that integration will not work. You have to upgrade their bank, their their pay bill or still to bank. So the process of upgrading your till or pay bill is easy. You just only need to fill this information here, the Impressor Service Application form, fill the existing details, and uh, on the payment details, ensure you select bank instead of the phone number. Then on the email, you can just email Impressa and tell them that you want to upgrade your till to your nominated bank account. Ensure you have uh, you have uh, attached uh, the bank, uh, let's say a cancel letter, a cancelled check that's okay if you also you can uh, attach a statement of the bank so that they can see it is active and also make sure you attach your id and also ensure you, you attach your id which is well uh, visible and ensure when you're sending this uh, application form to them it is the same tail which is the, it's the same email which was used in registering the tail or pay bill number so this applies for if you want to upgrade your tail settlement from a uh, bank to no from 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 phone number to bank so that's one important requirement that you have to fulfill in order so that to 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 proceed to the next step and also I wanted to talk if you are a company too you if you want to upgrade to the till if you want to upgrade to the to the to the bank you have to ensure every director has their signatures here if you are a small a business owner that's a sole proprietor you can have your, your your signature here but if it's for a company you, you are always uh, advised to have the director's uh, uh, director's uh, uh, signatures here and also you can attach the cr12 document and also you can always attach their national id so that at least this process becomes smoother and the, verica and the verification will uh, will become much easier and also ensure the till that you are using now the email that you are using to send is the email which was used to open the, the till or pay bill if you are unsure of the email what you can do you can just uh, visit the safaricom shop and tell them to upgrade your till or pay bill from phone number to bank account so that's the first step and uh, the the second step is the mpesa business administrator form which you have to fill so this gives you uh, this gives you some information such as the organization name the Mpesa username and the and the and the short code, which allows you to be able to go live in the in the Daraja platform. So don't worry about these technical details. I'm going to just uh, break uh, to them. I'm going to break them one by one, so that at least you understand. So on the Mpesa business administrator form, you may be asking, what is the Mpesa business administrator form? So when you are applying for a new till or pay bill number. And you have registered uh, your details and ensure the settlement is bank. You can always uh, tell Safaricom to send you the merchant logins. Sometimes they tell you to fill a document so that they can send you the merchant login. So 
So the document which you have to fill is the M-Pesa administrator uh, form. So let me share the administrator the M-Pesa business administrator form. So this is the M-Pesa business administrator form. So this is the second step. After you opened your till, ensure the settlement is bank. Ensure that you have uh, ensured you have an active till which has a store number. If it, if it's a pay bill, a pay bill does not need a store number because the pay bill uh, acts as a store number. So and also ensure the settlement is bank. If you are uh, through those processes, the only thing that you need is to fill this M-Pesa business administrator form. So on the category one, click M-Pesa G2. Click M-Pesa G2. That was that was that what I was advised to to be filling, and uh, that works much better. Click the new administrator on. Click M-Pesa G2. Select or indicate the business category. Make sure you indicate the correct business category that you are in. If it's a company, there are requirements here you are supposed to attach. You can see if it's for individual, you only need to fill these details. So proprietor, you only need to fill these details. Partnership, so you have to fill these details which are uh, required here. And also, if you are uh, registering for the first time for the MPESA business administrator form, uh, uh, opt to uh, stay on this section, the first category one. Don't go to category category two. Category two is for password reset and account closure. But for category one, it's business, it's business administrator request new access request or updating details of uh, existing administrator. So just stick to category one. Click the new administrator. Select the business category. The M-Pesa short code. If you are at, if you are using a till number, just put the store number here. Don't put the till number. Put the, the store number. If you are using a pay bill, put the pay bill number here. So for the M-Pesa payments portal entity code, that one leave blank. Business organization name, that one fill. Preferred administrator username, that's something that you have to fill. And I advise people here to use one. Their, their last name that's much better don't use all of your names just just use your 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 last name that one will be much better also fill your first name the middle name and also the last name fill your nationality that's kenyan put your id number here uh no identification document select national id identification document select uh put your id number here date of birth and also personal email address that's where the credential will be sent so ensure you you use the existing email address which you used when you are signing up for the for the TIN number. And also propose or nominate a missus for the mobile number. Ensure you put your uh, mobile number. So if you are registering for your client, don't put your mobile phone number here. Put for the client phone number. So this one becomes just put for the client phone uh, phone number here. And also if maybe if the TIL is yours, put your your phone number here. That's the nominated and Mrs. Faricom mobile number. The next thing that you have to do, I'll share an email address whereby you are going to send this information and uh, M-Pesa admins are going to confirm your details and advise you on the next step. So if you have followed this it, uh, these instructions correctly, they will send you the M-Pesa username and the organization name which you are going to use to go live and uh, these ones are going to help you when you want to do the integration so the uh, that's the only thing that you need to fill ensure also you have attached the the documents that the, the, they have uh, they have required you to attach so that at least this process uh, goes easy and goes uh, and, and simple so that's only the, that's the only thing that you need to do so that at least this process goes easy and simple i'm going to attach these forms in my google drive so that everyone who is watching this video may want to download uh, these documents and also i'll share the email i'll put the email on the uh, on the video description so that at least you get to understand uh, where where do I, where do i send the email so the next thing uh, involves you going live which i want to tackle about going live so if you are using wordpress this process becomes much easier because if you have checked my last video I'm already providing you with a plugin so on your end you only need to go live so so first before going live you need to have an active uh, developer account that's the raja but you can just go to developer.safaricom.co.ke sign up for an account as a developer sign up for account for your client 
and then you'll be able to proceed to this step. So after you've done this, just uh, if you are a newbie and really yeah, and you don't uh, you are uh, not familiar to these terms here, just select go live because you are you have already emailed the Mpesa business and they have replied with the Mpesa username or and uh, they have replied with the Mpesa username, the organization name. The only thing that you need to do you just need to have a active de developers account at Safaricom. Then the next thing that you have to do is just go here to go live. On the go live, you have to select short code. Then you have to fill the organization short code. So if you are using the pay bill, just put the pay bill, the pay bill number that you have. If you are using a till number, put uh, the store number here. That's the organization short code. But they will always provide the short code also on email so that at least it becomes much easier. Put the organization name here. If you put the organization name and the Mpesa username, which uh, Mpesa uh, replied uh, to your email with, and select I accept Safaricom's terms and conditions. The next thing, the next thing that you have to do is click next step. So when you click next step, uh, an OTP, that's a one-time uh, password will be sent to the nominated administrator Safaricom mobile number. So when you go to the next step, don't be worried whereby well if you are developing, if you are putting it for your, if you are integrating for your client, don't worry about where 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 does the OTP goes. So the one-time password goes to the nominated administrator Safaricom mobile number. So that's where the one-time password which uh, will go. And then you need only to fill the organization short code, organization name, Mpesa username, click next, uh, accept. Next step, on the OTP, as I have said, it will go to the nominated administrator Safaricom mobile number. So uh, default, this will go to the client because that's the mobile number that you need to use. Just call them, get the one-time password put the details and the next thing you 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 you'll 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 already have gone live so i cannot really show you the accounts which have gone live here but when you go live you'll just go to my apps and when you go to my apps you'll have an option to select if it's a uh, sandbox or live so ensure you select uh, live accounts and the next thing that you have to do copy the consumer key copy the consumer secret and use it in the in the WordPress plugin that I showed you, and also check your email. Check the email that has been used to register for the for the uh, for the Daraja account. The main reason why I'm saying you check the email because that's where they will send the online pass key. If you have checked my earlier video, you only need to fill your the sick consumer secret, the consumer secret, consumer key, and the the next thing that you have to fill. Is the online pass key which they will, they will send to your email if for me they will send to my email if you have opened the raja for your client they will send to their email just copy the details and that's it you've already gone live easy and quickly so if you have uh, comments if you have any questions just drop them below and i'll try possibly to answer each and every and if you like this video kindly consider subscribing and also sharing to your developer friends who may have an issue with payment integration using WordPress for M-Pesa. Thank you.